Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today for our continuing moments with the Good Shepherd Jesus. Starting today, we're going to look, er, take a study on the book of Colossians over the course of the, this month. And the book of Colossians was written by the Apostle Paul. It's one of the four what we call the captivity letters written while Paul was under house arrest in Rome. The approximate date of this might have been around 60 to 61 AD, shortly before Paul would be executed as a Christian. And so today we're going to read from Colossians chapter 1, the first five verses. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God and Timothy, our brother, to the holy and faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love that you have for the saints, because of the hope that is stored up for you in heaven. You have already heard about this in the word of truth, the gospel, that is present with you now. Do you ever feel like you're taken for granted? If so, you're not alone. When we don't receive the thanks we feel we deserve, we find ourselves getting angry. Ungratefulness creeps in quickly and is easy to justify. Really, a thank you note isn't too much to ask, is it? I did all that work. And it's like he didn't even notice. Sound familiar? Paul, the writer of Colossians, knows what it's like to feel that your good works go unnoticed. Paul traveled the Mediterranean preaching about Jesus and starting churches along the way. Some saw Paul's faithfulness as a gift and overflowed with thankfulness. Others questioned Paul's motives and second-guessed his teaching after he left. That certainly could have caused Paul to be resentful and even quit preaching. Instead, the Apostle Paul gives us insight into how we can change our hearts toward the people around us, including those who hurt us. We pray. We could paraphrase Colossians verse, chapter 1, verse 3 this way. Our prayers for you are always spilling over into thanksgiving. We can't quit thanking God our Father and Jesus our Messiah for you. Paul prayed consistently for the people God put on his path. And as he prayed, his heart aligned with God's heart for his people. He gave thanks for them. Ungratefulness sneaks into our lives in all sorts of ways. It happens when we compare our lives to someone else's, when we refuse to overlook an offense, or when we get too busy to see God at work all around us. But as we pray, the Holy Spirit reminds us of all that we do have, and thankfulness overflows. Jesus gently whispers, show the same grace I've shown you, and thankfulness overflows. As we pray, we're forced to slow down and take stock of what we've seen, felt, and experienced, and thankfulness overflows. We pray. O oh, Holy Spirit, change my heart from resentment and hurt to thankfulness, for the grace you have shown me, help me then be grace-filled toward others. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you for joining me today, and remember to give thanks for all the people around you, even those who hurt you. <laughs>